Ladies, ladies, tonight I am on the sea show once again. I am here on the sea show and tonight I'm going to talk about the game tonight between Houston and Utah. I said it. Remember guys, I was here talking about, I believe Sunday, I said it. Saturday, Sunday, whenever the hell it was. I said it. This series could go seven. Utah will give Houston some problems. I told you guys, and some of you probably made fun of me. I don't know. I don't think nobody put anything in the comment section about it. But I know there's a man. I believe we have some Houston fans up in here. You know, I think there's a guy. Um, or there's a few guys. I think. I think there's like two guys. I think. I'm not sure. Maybe they'll show up in the comment section. Um, but um, I said. This 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 thing could go seven. I said it, didn't I? And and, and, and some of you were probably laughing because it, what they completely beat the shit out of them. Houston did that first game, but man, tonight Utah was unstoppable. Now you know I I um uh, you know Harden did it. Chris Paul did his thing. Harden did his thing, but man, Utah when they needed to, they played. That Joe Ingles guy. That Joe Engel, guys, was amazing from the three. 27 points. Mitchell didn't have that amazing game. I think he only had like 17 points. But man, that defense, that is a very good team um, defensively. I don't think nobody paid that much attention to Utah this year. But damn, are they a good defensive team. They, it was almost like... Are the who 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 who's the Houston? Who's Utah? Like it seemed like it was the other way around. It seems like Houston was Utah and Houston was Utah. Like WTF? They were shooting it like Joe Ingles was unstoppable from the three. He was just shooting that thing, man. Twenty-seven points. Oh yeah, like fifty-five. Man, unbelievable. And I think now one-one going to Utah. Houston has now has. Got to get at least one in Utah, the way they go down 3-1. And it could be, we know what happened last year, you know, no Tony Parker, no Leonard, and they lost. They got the shit beat out of them by San Antonio. We know this team will fold. It, they can fold. Mike D'Antoni's an idiot when it comes to playoffs. He doesn't need his philosophy. Trying to outscore the opponent. Shut the fuck off, Mike D'Antoni. James Harden will fold at times. Chris Paul does not have that much luck in the playoffs. This team could end up folding. Let's see what happens. I still think Houston will win this thing in seven. But man, we have got to see what happens. Because it is not a good... You know, you got... Mike D'Antoni has always folded with his stupid philosophy of trying to outscore the opponent. Oh, shit. Trying to, outs try trying to outscore the opponent. Um, James Harden will fold in the playoffs at times. Um, excuse me. Um, farting. Anyways, um... Chris Paul, whether he's hurt or just, just I don't know, but I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised if Utah upsets Houston. I would not be surprised at all. Um, we'll see what happens though. We'll see what happens. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this series. Um, what else can I say? But thank you. What else can I say? But thank you. Um, here in the comment section. Um. What in the comment section? Um, chicken legs. Here, hold on. I think Marty. Marty, you still, you're still in denial. You still think your your Pelicans will win. Marty, just stop it, man. You're losing a lot of money, too. I heard you lost like $1,000 or something. You were sleeping in your porch. Your wife would get out of the house. You know, Marty's in terrible condition. He would just not let it go. Marty, your team's most likely losing this thing. Is it still possible down 2-0? Of course it is! Marty, but damn it, it's the, it's, the, it's the Warriors, Marty. You pull back like this, boom, Steph Curry, boom, Clay Thompson, boom, Kevin Durant. It's too much sauce. Too much sauce, son. Um, we'll see what happens, though, but most likely they're not winning. Um, chicken legs. You ask me, where do I think LeBron, if LeBron James leaves, where do I think he will go? Listen, man, there was a leaked... Um, um, supposedly somebody leaked this out that LeBron James was looking into going to Philadelphia, Los Angeles, um, and Houston. Um, supposedly those are the teams he would go to if he were to leave. Listen, Lakers, you would really have to be patient. You might not win another championship because there's a bunch of young kids over there. 
I don't know. Maybe, you know, talk about maybe more of life after basketball, you know, going down to LA, maybe looking into the movies, you know, getting into the acting roles, you know, being with Magic Johnson, you know, one of the most um, um, athletes that has done a good job of, you know, taking care of his money. Maybe he can teach LeBron, you know, like I said, the Hollywood thing with the acting, you know, living just in LA because maybe he's tired of being in the cold weather, you know, I don't know. I don't know. He has two houses down then in LA, so we'll see. Um, Houston. Houston's gonna have to probably at least take the Warriors to seven games in the West Finals to get LeBron James to go to Houston. They're gonna have to. You better get out of this series for sure with the Utah, and then you better at least take the Warriors to seven to really tell LeBron James, hey, you're the missing play. <coughs> you're the <coughs> you're the missing player. That's what Houston's gonna have to do. They better get their head out of their ass, get out of Utah, and then at least take the Warriors to seven games to really convince LeBron James. They're very good friends with Chris Paul. You know, it could work out. We'll see what happens. But Houston have got to at least make it to the West and to me at least get um, the Warriors to a game seven. Otherwise, I don't see it either. And then the last team to me doesn't make a lot of sense, the Philadelphia. Um... They're a very good team, and you're still in the East, which means you would still have, you know, other than the Celtics, you wouldn't have to worry about it. Because this is the thing, too. Okay, so look. With Sam, okay, I, I have a few things about this one, with, the, with, 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 with this one. All right, one, to me, Simmons needs to have the basketball in his hand. He's not that good of a shooter. He's not a spot-up shooter. You know, he needs to make plays. He, to be effective, Simmons has got to have the basketball in his hand and pass or get in the paint. If LeBron James goes there, at times, he's going to take the basketball away from his hands and then Simmons not going to be able to do anything. And that thing that would hurt him in the future. It doesn't make sense. I think Simmons really needs to have the basketball because he's more of a creator, you know? Yeah, he can score, he can get in the paint, score, but he's not a spot-up shooter. He's not like Henry Irvin where LeBron James could be with the basketball and Simmons at three. No, Simmons is not a shooter. He needs a basketball. To me, that would be a problem. Who's, you know, be too, you know I, I feel like LeBron James would get in there and want the basketball. And Simmons, like, what the hell are you going to do? Are you, unless you want to fucking switch him and have him be a fucking um, forward. He does have the size. I mean, he's seven foot. I mean, that would probably have to be, hey, Simmons, LeBron's came coming here. He's going to have the basketball in his hand a lot. You're not that good of a shooter, so we're going to switch positions, and now you're going to be a, a forward, along with L. Bean. And then you can have, like, a t twin tower, kind of like the um, Lakers had with Andrew Bynum and Pau Gasol, or in the 90s, San Antonio had with, um, with Tim Duncan and David Robinson, you know, maybe you can do something like that and have LeBron in front of the point guard. I don't know. Um, and also, now this is why it makes sense. If LeBron James stays in Cleveland... He will have to deal with two teams, Philadelphia and the South 76ers and the Celtics, both of those. If he goes to the Sixers, then he only has to worry about one team, the Celtics. So that's why, that's also the good thing. So yeah, you would have to figure out how do you play with Simmons. But then also, if you are able to go there, you don't longer have to worry about two teams. You only have to worry about one team. Because I think that is the future of the East, the 76ers and the Celtics. And if LeBron stays in Cleveland, he has two teams to worry about. If he joins the 76ers, then he only have to worry about the Celtics. You just have to figure out how you're going to play with Simmons. Um, but, I mean, if he wants to stay in the East, that would, make a, that, would, that would be a smart move. Not only do you go to better players, a younger team, but also instead of having to worry about two teams, you only have to worry about one team. Obviously, Cleveland will go to hell. They would probably have to start all over. Kevin Love would eventually end up leaving. You know, McDonald's could be a possibility. I don't know. But yeah, that, that it's, it, it's like, okay, how do I put with Simmons? He needs the basketball in his hand. And then, but, oh yeah, but then I only have to worry about the Celtics. I don't have, you know, I don't have to worry about two teams. But we'll see what happens. The Celtics, if they could, excuse me, the, the, the 76ers, if they could figure it out how to all play, how to get, how to keep Simmons in, in the game, Without and, and, and you know how they I don't think I don't think they can figure it out you know because they but you know what we saw you know we thought that Chris, uh, James Harden Chris Paul can figure it out they figure it out so maybe they can figure it out so to me that could make the most sense uh, Los Angeles he would have to be patient and then Houston to me 
Right now, no. They have got to prove that at least take the Warriors to seven games to really sell them. Hey, you're the final person we need here to really get this. But then also, you have, you have to look at Houston. You would have to clear some uh, money up. Ryan Anderson, Capella. That's also, you, will you be willing to let a lot of people go? Just one player. It's LeBron James, but it's a 33-year-old LeBron James. And then, like I said, you have to at least get out of this Utah series and then at least take the Warriors to seven. Right now, out of those three, supposedly those are the three teams that are a favorite, I would say it's Philadelphia. The only problem is, can he and Simmons play together? Um, but we'll see what happens. But right now, I guess Philadelphia 76ers. And also, like I said, if they're able to figure it out, then you only have to worry about one team in the Celtics and not two, which is in Cleveland. Anyways, but yeah, that's my take on it. That's my take on it. This, that, that gave me some extra sauce for this video. This video didn't have enough sauce. Thank you, Chicken Link, for that question. Maybe I, I have to start ranking the fans. Tonight, I think Chicken Wings is the start of the night. Marty's always kind of uh, the start of the night. Ronald sometimes. I think tonight we give it to Chicken Legs. See, you guys ask me questions. It makes the video entertaining, doesn't it? Just me flapping my gums about the game. Um, we're going to start making some new shows here on the, on the show because obviously we're getting into the summer. And, you know, a lot of you are more like um, NBA, NFL fans, not too much Major League fans. Major League Baseball. So we're going to start getting into some other topics on the show. Um, and then, like I said, if you have an idea, if you have a question, let me know. T good job, Chicken Wings. You are captain of the night. Put your head on. Anyways, thank you. And until next time, I am the man that wants to play. And until next time, I will see you later.